Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Callie's Tech Time. Today we are going to be discussing a really important feature of Streamlabs OBS that will immediately improve the quality of your streams for your viewers. Alright, you excited? Alright, let's go. Okay, so this feature that we're going to be discussing today is very important. So what you're going to want to do is go to your settings, go over here to advanced within your settings tab, and you're going to scroll down to where it says network. Okay, now this box is incredibly important. Now what it does, dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming, okay? So what this does, if you lose internet connection for a second or two, and your bandwidth drops in half or a third, you know, what's gonna happen is instead of skipping frames for your stream and, you know, creating some buffering for your viewers, what it will do instead is lower the bit rate that is going out, lower the quality, Meaning that if your quality was set to 6,000 bitrate and it ended up hitting 3,000, it'll just reduce the quality of the stream for a bit until it's able to catch back up. This is super important because we all know it sucks to be watching someone on Twitch or on YouTube or any other streaming platform and all of a sudden you get buffering. Well, that's because their internet had a blurp for a second and you just had rough times or your computer starts dropping frames because you're, you hit your overhead on your GPU, your CPU, they're overheating, you just did too much things going on. What this is going to do is it will help you ensure that you have less buffering on your viewers that will help make the quality of your streams more consistent and you'll be able to continually interact with your viewers onwards and upwards. It's really simple. Guarantee it works great. I've yet to have anybody I've talked to use this that didn't absolutely love it. Now you'll also notice there's enabled new networking code. So this does reduce the quality by just a smidge, like a, a tiny smidge, but it will send those large packets of data, you know, split out much better. Okay, it's going to split out that data and encode it much more effective with the new networking code. I also do recommend keeping this checked. If you see no problems with this, with your high speed, I mean very high speed. So if you have, you know, very, very fast internet, you know, 100, 200, 300 megabits download and, you know, 40, 50, 60 or more upload, then a lot of bandwidth. This would be good to help break up your packets so it's more consistent overall. So enabling these two features, it's going to be great. Now, I know before I've mentioned stream delay. I used to say one second because, you know, stop buffering. I have noticed with recent iterations of Streamlabs OBS that there are some potential issues with adding a low stream delay why but there is so i would recommend using these features don't worry about stream delay for now obviously if you're streaming a tournament or trying to prevent stream sniping you want to put like five minutes so keep that in mind that's it for me for today team it's a pretty simple video highly recommend you use this feature it will improve your stream quality and reduce the amount of failures you're going to have it's super simple. I'm sure OBS has it too. Just turn this on, hit done, and your life is improved. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching Kylie's Tech Time, and I will see you all next time. Hey friend, thanks for watching that video. If you'd like to watch other videos from me, click the links on screen right now. 
Or if you would like to visit me in any of my other portals, check the links in the description below and consider watching me on twitch.tv slash Chronicles, where I live stream all the time. Thanks again, and I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Bye for now.